doctors do. They can. Furthermore, to be able to send this package on time, Amazon invested uh, 800 million dollars in infrastructure mm -hmm. to, 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 to organize and to send this on time, you know? Right. And finally, uh, I, 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 didn't, I didn't catch the eBay part. Mm -hmm. I think that eBay it's obviously the competence of Amazon mm -hmm. and they they have the the same option but I, I, I couldn't recognize the difference between them okay um, the do you remember anything about the year the what other companies are doing? Walmart. Yeah, but what are they doing? Ah. Uh, okay. I think they are, they have a, an option in their, their webs, website mm -hmm. where you can um, select it and they will deliver your your purchase purchases mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. um, but I don't know and that's yeah. it I mean you, you they send your purchases but you don't have any anything else and uh, no <laughs> okay okay that's good that's good that's good okay so according to the video they say that the, there, is, there is a way or companies are beginning to find um, competition and they are trying to fight the, the, big, the big company that is Amazon today, yes. right? Because like 26 years ago, it was Walmart the biggest store in the United States. And now it's like the third. So it went really, really back. No. So they are trying to, to fight Amazon's uh, delivery system with a very similar delivery system. They want to spend money on uh, delivery in one day. So if you go to Walmart and you order a purchase, you again are going to find uh, your things in your house in less than 24 hours. Yes. Right? Which is, it was very different to even, not even 25 years ago. Two years ago, it was completely different. Three years ago, before the pandemic, it was completely different and Prime Day, for example, Prime Day was two days for delivery. No, this, this video exists when Prime was only two days and now it became one, which is massive. That, in, that uh, reducing the time is a massive, massive job. So that's what they are saying, that if their competitors are making, are making a very similar strategy. No? Uh, okay, yes, yes, yes. That's uh, the thing that you missed. But the information that you have is pretty good. You were telling me that the one day delivery was about 23%, okay? Now, let me give you feedback on that because you said the one day deliver. <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> right? The one day deliver, which is a verb. Technically, that is incorrect to say. Uh... Delivering. Uh -uh. There is a noun for this, and it's for suffixes, prefixes and suffixes for nouns. Okay. The correct way is the one day delivery. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Why only you one, one letter. <laughs> only one letter, but it makes a massive difference. Yes. Massive, massive difference. You said you said something about the there was an increment. And uh, the cost for price, no? Uh huh. Yes. And you said it was about twenty three percent. This is a good way to say it, but you can make it faster and quicker if you use prepositions you can use there was an increase mm. right of 23 percent of about of about 23 percent and the preposition for cost is on on, mm. on the cost Right. Look at how different prepositions are in this case. Yes. You use for, you use in, and the connector of about is very different too. Yes. So prepositions are a little bit tricky when you're trying to speak fluently. Exactly. Right? Because you need to get familiar mm -hmm. with the word in get very very exposed to the language yes okay so that's the second part and then after that vocabulary competence exists but it's not similar to say competitors <laughs> yes okay <laughs> Competence, according to the dictionary, is as follows. No, competence. Competence. The ability to do something well. Right? So when you have an ability, you have competence. But competitor is a person who takes, no, uh, company, 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 here. A person or an organization that competes against others, especially in business. The word that you needed is competitor. Got it? And that's pretty much it. Let me show this away, no? Had a connection problems. Okay, Chucho has connection problems. Let's give a moment to Jesse to pass the test. Hello, Jesse. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Hi, girl. Hi. So I will, I will attend this. Is here. It says Jesus, Roberto, Sophie, and Hugo. That's right. That's correct, girl. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Okay, Chuchu's back. Be here. <laughs> Perfect. Very good. Now, the last one competence versus competitor and collocations. Every time you talk about a website, a platform, uh, an app, every time you use, you speak about this uh, info, you need a connector on. Yes. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a classic. It's a classic. Uh -huh. We have talked about that because you said you click in their website that is not correct on it's on exactly it's on 
Okay, okay, great. You got it? Got it. Good. All right, Chucho, this is your feedback. Let's go with now with Itza. You ready, girl? Thanks. I will try, teacher. All right, let's practice. I'm gonna play the second part, one, two, three, action. The journey a package takes to your door starts before you even place the order. Most items on Amazon are sold directly to you by a third party. In Jeff Bezos' letter to shareholders in April 2019, he said third-party sales have grown from 3% of total merchandise sales in 1999 to 58% in 2018. Amazon charges those sellers a fee to list items on Amazon.com, starting around 15% of the item's selling price. Amazon also sells things directly. In some cases, Amazon buys inventory from a third party and then sells it to consumers. Other items are Amazon's own brands, such as Amazon Basics, Amazon Essentials, fashion lines like Lark and Row, and Alexa devices like the Echo. All items sold directly by Amazon are already sitting in an Amazon warehouse waiting to be ordered and shipped. Most third-party items fulfilled by Amazon are also already waiting at an Amazon warehouse, while others are sent directly from the seller or to an Amazon warehouse once you hit that place order button. Amazon does not disclose the details of its inventory strategy. Figuring out where a product sits before you buy it is a phenomenal mystery. <laughs> it's something that every reseller would love to know, and figuring out the code that is Amazon has been part of that hard process. Mm. That's, that's why they are so powerful. They have a secret recipe like <laughs> KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Okay. <clears throat> Let me know. Okay, I understand. No, I, um, Amazon have a um, process before uh -huh. you receive a package. Uh -huh. um, they, they, no, they saw that the, the, um, the, the cost of the delivery could make uh, an opportunity for them, I suppose. And they uh, started to, yes, to have a third party. There is a house, well, not a house, but the, uh, the um, place where they, They have all the products or most of the products mm -hmm. for and uh, delivery uh, most quickly for the customers. Mm -hmm. uh, they buy some they buy some products uh, to a third one and, uh, and put it in that in that place. Mm -hmm. waiting for a customer mm -hmm. and then and they buy it direct no deliver it directly to the to the place i i i, I say it everything wrong <laughs> <laughs> yeah you you're finding very strange ways to to explain it because yes I think I think a good thing that you will help you is to listen to the audio and start taking notes on the words that are new. Yes. You know, like I think a pen with you would change a lot yeah. the way you are speaking because many of the words that you are saying, you are finding other ways to say it because you don't have the vocabulary. Yeah. Right. So if you have, if you catch the vocabulary when you're listening. It's gonna be easier to speak. And what was the last part? The last part of the mystery. Uh, the codes, something about the code in the mm -hmm. products. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, something about the code. Like, remember. Something about the code. But you don't know what? No. No problem. The thing here is, the second part says that the reason Amazon is too big and the reason many competitors cannot reach Amazon's uh, Amazon's service, they cannot really uh, fight Amazon, is because Amazon has a special way inside their warehouses. The word that you were looking for warehouse. was the word warehouse. Uh -huh. Warehouse, C1 vocabulary, a building mm -hmm. where large quantities of goods are stored. Mm -hmm. Before, mm -hmm. especially before they're sent to shops to be sold. So in this case, mm -hmm. they are not sent to the shops, they are sent directly to customers. To the customer, yeah. The internal uh, way of managing products is a mystery. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the reason I spoke about Kentucky Fried Chicken, mm -hmm. right? The, the biggest thing that made Kentucky Fried Chicken popular in the, in the 70s, in the 60s, was the secret recipe. Mm -hmm. Tesla had a very similar business model. The, the engine in Tesla is a secret too. The, the car, the electric car, nobody knows what is inside a Tesla engine and what makes it well nobody knew at the beginning today there are other cars now that have a very similar working force because at the end you buy a tesla and you can open it no everybody starts opening but at the beginning it was a mystery the same thing is happening with with uh, with amazon all the competitors want to know how amazon works but nobody knows which is pretty interesting Okay. okay. The yes. thing, just one question. You said somebody or something is sitting are there in the place waiting for the customer to waiting for the customer to buy them, no? What is there waiting for the customer to buy them? In the warehouse. Not what? That? Not where? Um the products um, i mean amazon get the products uh -huh. and they put it in these warehouses uh -huh. buy directly um, the products and they put it in these warehouses waiting for the customers so it, this in this way they uh -huh. could delivery early or faster than the others because they have them. Mm -hmm. yes. They have them. Use adverbs. They have them already. Um, oh, okay. Right. The word already will save everything. All the problems that you had was solved with were solved with two words. The word already and the word warehouse. I think these two words were necessary in your speech because you said all is there in a place waiting for the customer to buy it. No? That was the, the, the thing that you said literally. The word mm -hmm. all needs to be replaced with products that Amazon have already bought directly, like you said. Right, this all this 
should be replacing this. Got it? Verb to be mm -hmm. for products? R. R. So we need to change this verb is for R. Now, in a place waiting for the customer, in a place, this is very ambiguous. Mm -hmm. No? You need to change it for? The warehouses. Incomplete. In... Exactly. In? Their warehouses. In their warehouses. Waiting for the customer to buy. Did the rest is correct? To buy. It. That's no, like no. the most important. Exactly. And you said many, many times. Many, many times you said it in your speech. That's the most important. The, 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 the thing that most I, I worry about is this. Because you said put it, buy it, sell it, send it. When they were, it was necessary to say, buy them, store them, send them, buy them. You know? Yeah. Plural. Think about products as plural too. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's the first thing. Now, another verb that is very necessary here. The word store. Store as a verb. <laughs> when they when Amazon buy products, they don't put it in warehouses. Okay. They store them. Exactly. Store them. Ready to be sent. You see? And this specific part, ready to be sent, is a very B1, C1 expression because this is passive voice. No, B2, sorry. B2 or C1 expression. Ready to be sent to the customer. Instead of buying for the customer to buy it, better use ready to be sent to the customer. You get it? Yes, teacher. Okay, did you take notes on this? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Good morning, <laughs> Miss Mandrea. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Let's go then to the next person. Go, Luis. Part two, robots. After an item is ordered and ready. Wait, you cannot see the video, right? Uh, okay. Ready at Amazon has been part of that hard process. After an item is ordered and ready at one of Amazon's 175 fulfillment centers around the globe, it's picked, packaged, and shipped by some of its 250,000 warehouse workers, often with help from one of its 100,000 robots. It's essentially an amusement park for a box. There's conveyor belts that go around, there's slides, it looks like a lot of fun. 
But the question is, how much is automated versus how much is manual labor? And that suite, blending that, figuring out how to have the least human touch points while ensuring the best quality control is that perpetual conversation. We visited a fulfillment center outside Seattle where 2,000 workers prepare packages on a couple million square feet of floor space. Workers here showed us the process of getting an item from the shelves to a box. We scan the item and make sure that that item is what matches what's in our hand that's on the screen and then we stow it into a bin and then there's cameras here that take pictures of where our hands go of where we place the item. I am a picker so I pick product that will end up going down to the packing department and then they pack it out and send it to our customers. Uh, and I need to put it into a box. It ought to actually tells me what type of box it is. Tape. Put the item in there. Scan a spool. Drop it down the line. Amazon says it's 100,000 robots inside the fulfillment centers help make this whole process more efficient. In 2012, Amazon bought robotics company Kiva for $775 million and started using robots in its fulfillment centers a couple years later. Now, there's driving robots that move inventory around, robotic arms that lift boxes and pallets, and even a new robot that can package items in custom-sized boxes. If it wasn't for them, then I'd have to walk, and I'd much rather be up here in my own little world picking than walking up and down. So I love the robotics. As technology continues to change how fulfillment centers function, Amazon just announced it will spend $700 million to retrain a third of its U.S. workforce by 2025 to move them to more advanced jobs. Let's go. All right, just give me a second. Sun was burning. Okay, Louis, tell me what you heard. Okay, so uh, the video talks about uh, how the technology is being used by Amazon for uh, for packed uh, for packed uh, the products mm -hmm. that are being requested. So Amazon uh, combines two uh, forces. The first one are employees mm -hmm. and the second one are uh, robots. So the the second force uh, helps to the the, the former. Um, assisting a for uh, items transportation in the mm -hmm. in the warehouse, so the robots helps. Uh, uh, how do I say? Uh, moving the the products or the item to the employee station. Mm -hmm. So th this helps to to do the process more efficient. And additionally, uh, Amazon ha has uh, a, 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 a camera, a of a cam. A what? A, 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 is, is it cam or ca camera? A camera, okay, cam. Uh -huh. uh, which detects the movement of the employee. So this cam can recognize if the employee is is uh, placing the item in the box. So there is a complete uh, step by step process in which the employee uh, take the products, uh, touch and the screen. The cam detects the the movement of the employee and the employee uh, put the the product in into the box. Mm -hmm. um, in general, uh, individuals say that also the employees recognize that the robots are useful. Uh, and in particular, uh, I interview employee recognize that uh, she loves <laughs> robots. Yes. And I think this is in general. Good, okay. Very nice.
there was no no more information that I can that I can ask you to to add because you 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 mentioned pretty much everything. Congratulations. You have very good comprehension. Yes, your comprehension is really nice. Now the I'm 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 gonna train you on being able to copy words that you hear. Because what you do is you get the information, you pass it to Spanish, and then you speak it in Spanish. Without, okay, yes. <laughs> uh, without really copying words that they said. Two words that were said here, or, or two, two or three concepts that you use can be substituted with words that was in the video. Let me help you with this one. And I'm, I'm gonna write here words that we have learned. For example, it said needed the word warehouse and Chucho needed the word increment or increase. The word already is also very useful. I don't know why we are not using it enough. And store. Okay. Let's talk about yours, brother. For back to products, that's very interesting. Let's talk about purpose. You said Amazon uses technology for back to the products. That's Spanglish. Okay, I think you are here. My, my, like clicks too much. I'm sorry. Amazon uses technology for pack the products. What's wrong in this sentence, guys? Who who can who can tell me what's what do we have to change? For pack. For pack. Good. What? What's the change? Uh, for packing. For <laughs> packing. That's correct. We need to change to for I. Teacher, quickly. Tell me. Is there a word when we in Spanish say gallo when you are talking and suddenly you ex uh, a strange oh, voice? Oh, your voice. Uh -huh. No. Exactly. There is a, it, it says that your voice, your voice trembles or your voice crumbles, but that is not, there is no expression for that. Okay, well. yes. Very good that anyone noticed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now that you mention, everybody will notice. You see? Well, yes. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> so, I was using technology for packing the products. Right? Why packing? Chucho. Why not for pack? We don't remember. Okay. There are two reasons. Okay. When you're talking about purpose, you can talk about purpose for a verb or purpose for a noun. Either you have to say to pack or for packing. Because in this case, you are connecting a verb, so you need a connector to, or connector four, which connects a, connector four, connector off, mm -hmm. and now, very good. The word in ing form, works as a noun. Okay. I repeat, the word in ing form works as a noun. So the connector for is designed to connect a noun, not a verb. Never. Every time you talk about purpose, you need to take this into consideration. If you say, 
estas flores son para mi mamá. How will you translate this? These flowers are for you. For, for my mom, for my mom. For me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sí. Sorry. Oh, exactly. <laughs> my mind. <laughs> These flowers are for my mom. And that's the reason you understood for pack because you're thinking in Spanish and you say, ah, okay, para in English, ah, for. You see? But not always. Estudio inglés para tener mejores oportunidades. How do you say this in English? Luis. Uh... I study English for for having less opportunity. For having better. Ah yes, better yeah, opportunity. Exactly. Or I study English. Getting better incomplete. Huh? For getting better opportunities. For getting ah, you're changing the verb. No. Don't change the verb. Oh. Well, Luis, come on. What's the second option? Using the same verb? Or uh -huh. using the same verb? The thing that you have over there. On top. See you on Wednesday. See you on Wednesday, Chucho. Come on, come on. What happened with this? No? No. Too hard. To have exactly so we thank you very much. Uh -huh. To have better opportunities. Which is exactly what that we have here. Do you see it? This is a verb and this is a noun. Same case. So you committed the same mistake again. The first thing that you did, I, I saw your 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 train of thought. First, 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 before you pass to the to the word tener, you translated para and you automatically say for. You see? Without yes. analyzing that the next word is a verb. That's precisely my point. Yes, I think that my issue is that I have noticed that packing is working as a noun instead of a verb. Exactly. Exactly. No, no, but also, also, no, no, probably that's not the, that's more difficult. That's a longer way. No, 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 no. Go with the connector for. The connector for needs a noun. Pack is not working as a noun. No. It's the opposite. The connector for that you are using needs a noun after it. Okay. Or the opposite. If you want to say the verb, use to instead of for. 
years. That's the train of thought. Because if you're thinking on the on the on the word pack, for example, what type of word is pack? Pack? Uh-huh. What type of word is it? It's a verb. It's a verb? Then this is a mistake. You see? In the opposite way, if you are using for, I need a noun, then this is the mistake. So it depends on your train of thought. What do you want to visualize before? The verb, the connector, or the next word? If your first visualization is in the connector, the next word needs to match the connector. If your first word, if your first visualization is the verb, then the connector needs to match the, the verb. Yes. And this is how you put Spanish far away. You got it? Yes. That's the way. This is the way the Mandalorian 2023. Now, Amazon combines. Amazon combines. This is, let me check what level is combine. Because I am pretty curious about it. Combine is B1. Ah, okay. So it's pretty much intermediate listen to this uh, Lewis this thing that figuring out but how to have the least human touch points while ensuring blending the question is how much is automated versus how much is manual labor and that sweet blending that figuring out how and that sweet what figure it out again all the time to have it versus how much is manual labor and that sweet blending that figure and that's really? sweet blending exactly i love that word i love that word because i love coffee to blend something is to mix two or more substances together Check this out. Blend the flour with the milk to make a smooth paste. Blend together the eggs, sugar, and the flour to make delicious hotcakes. This machine is a blender. You see? because you are mixing the components together. And when you are talking about a blend of coffee, no, blender not, blend. You are talking about a mix of different seeds in one bag, the holiday blend. You see what I mean? Okay. So Amazon combines these two. This is B1. Amazon blends these two. This is Yes or no? Yes, it's better. Yes, it is. And how, how did I get it? I got this word from the video. 
I just extract it, listen to the words that he's uh, saying, and take notes on those words. Okay? Okay? That's good. Good job, brother. Let's go now with Sophie. Sophie, you are going to talk about safety. One, two, three, action. In those requirements and expectations and review accordingly. Workers bringing packages that last mile to your door also told us safety is a concern. One reason, Amazon doesn't provide flex drivers with any branded clothing to identify them. I'm pulling up to this house and um, I get to the front door and, you know, this guy just comes running out like, hey, what are you doing? And he's talking so fast. And I was thinking, you know, I'm in Connecticut, you know, I'm a Puerto Rican guy in, in, in a white guy's yard. And like, you know, <laughs> what about he comes out and just shoots me in the face with ice and questions, you know, that was my fear. After another delivery where he says a customer let his German shepherd charge at him, Jonathan paid $45 out of his own pocket for a custom sweater on Etsy. I think Amazon, the least they could do is give us something that would make it a little bit safer and make us more visible when we're out there delivering. I've gotten a lot of mean glares from people uh, because they're like, who is this guy? He's just in front of my driveway or he's parked in front of my house. He's just wearing a yellow vest. You don't even have to wear that vest. It's just, I do it because at least I look less suspicious. <laughs> in a statement, Amazon said they are welcome to wear the safety vests that we have available for them in the delivery stations while they're on their route, which can help customers identify Flex participants. And some drivers told us the way the Flex app works encourages distracted driving because it requires drivers to manually tap refresh to secure their next assignment. If you want to get blocks, then you have to be tapping on that refresh button in the app pretty much constantly. But how do you do that while you're delivering? So it encourages people to do it while they're driving. In a statement, Amazon says safety is our top priority and we are proud of our safe driving record. We regularly communicate a variety of safety topics, including loading and driving practices with drivers. Amazon Flex participants can also sign up for delivery blocks up to a week in advance through the Amazon Flex app. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah. Um, they, they said that Amazon, um, the, the drivers of, of the, the, la, the last people that make the, the products arrive to, to customer houses, mm -hmm. uh, customers' houses, they need to buy their own um, share of Amazon and they need to to pay for 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 the tools that they they use to to deliver the products for example they um no and Amazon, I, I, I forget what else uh, the guy said, but Amazon says that they uh, look for um, security of their employees. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. But it is not, it is not, uh, uh, true, because it's um, they 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 need to to drive and walk miles and and everything, and they they Amazon doesn't give them the necessary equip equipment. We can say to do yeah. that to work, they have to cover with their own money, and it is not as. I don't know if, if the word exists in English, but it's not as, as rentable, we can say. Uh -huh. Or is this Spanish? I don't know. <laughs> as they yeah. say, as Amazon say, that it is the work, the job. Um, and that's it, teacher. I, I, yes. I yes, can exactly. hear very well the video, yes. <laughs> 
Well, no, you you covered you covered the, all the information. It was just the way we said it. Let's talk about the word as Amazon say. That's a pretty important mistake. I say, you say in Amazon. If I say Amazon or what? I say, you say, and he see it. Says. Says. Every time you use as, verify if you are conjugating the verb correctly. Now, mm -hmm. the people who, the people who make the last part of the, I think you said travel or the portion of? The deliveries, no? Of the deliveries, okay. The deliveries. There were two words that you could have extracted from the video. The first one was participants, mm -hmm. or most most importantly, well, participants is the word that they are using in the in many many of the sections in this in this part, and also they use the word last mile. which was a technicality to speak about the last part of the deliveries. Okay. It's exactly the same. So, which participants are we talking about? Who, who is the people in this case? Participants. Which participants? You're close. Um, What's the name of the program? Um, uh, uh, Amazon. It's visual. It's right here. Flex. Exactly. So that is the first part. Amazon Flex participants make the last mile. Last five. Or who? Who made the last one? Okay. It's extracting words from the video in order to make it yours. That's exactly the same way if you're watching a movie or you're reading a book, the thing that you need to do is to extract words so you can appropriate them and use them by yourself. Mm -hmm. That's expanding your vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Now, vocabulary questions. Does rentable exist? Let me check. <laughs> I don't know. Rentable, available or suitable for renting? Uh -huh. It's a different meaning. Exist, mm -hmm. but it's a different meaning. The, the word that you are looking for is profitable. Ah, see what? Good meat. Okay. And make sure it's likely to make money. And I want to check your pronunciation. How do you pronounce this? Mm. Uh, what was the word? Oh, ah, yeah. Mm. Equipment. 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 Uh -huh. Equipment. 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 Uh -huh. You said equip. That doesn't exist. Uh -huh. Right? Okay. That's Equipment. So that was the most important part. The conjugation of verbs and getting new vocabulary from the video. All that, okay. that's for everybody, eh? All that can be solved if you listen to the video and take notes, people. 
you need to start taking notes on the video. Nobody took notes. Nobody. It's very useful to listen to the video and start checking new words and writing all the things that you discover that is completely new for you by using your ears. Because your mind automatically, if you depend on your mind only, your mind is going to change it to Spanish. If you don't use anything visual. So it's like, okay, what's the name of the program? Amazon Flex. What's the name of the warehouse where they store the, the, the products? Amazon Fulfillment Center. What's the name of the person who takes the product and put it in the robot? It was Amazon Fulfillment Center Picker. And I take a note. All these new words, the word blending, the word uh, a store, warehouse, you know, in, in you use the word profitable, you know, that probably is not in the video, but we have seen that video, that word many times in the past. So take notes, guys. That's going to help you a lot. Okay. And Chucho, I know, Victor, Victor is saved by the bell. He's 829. You are so lucky. Unfortunately. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But you, did you take notes on the, on the corrections, man? Yes, did you? <laughs> yes. Did you promise? Or, or it's like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Very, very nice. But Sophie had a question. I'm sorry, Sophie. I interrupted you. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Well, if you remember, let me know. And that's going to be it. This practice is super useful because in, the, in real life, if you are speaking with an American person or you are watching a movie, or you're doing things like that, you should definitely get the the like the strategy to take notes. You know, I really, really suggest you do that. It's very useful, and eventually, with a lot of practice, it will be not necessary, and all the new words will go to your mind directly. But now that you are in, in upper intermediate and advanced, it's a good idea to take the notes, create the habit, and eliminate the habit uh, slow by slow, you know, step by step. Okay, guys? All right. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yes. Good. So we'll finish for today, guys. Have a very nice Monday. I'll see you tomorrow. And Victor, you're gonna I'm gonna give you your feedback tomorrow, okay? At okay. The Okay, brother. Have a good day. See you later. See you later. Bye, guys.